Welcome to Overture. Hi, I'm Richard Galimi, owner and founder of Overture. As you just saw, I'm a musician myself, and I also come from a family of musicians going back multiple generations. I have a passion for music, and like most, my passion started in beginner band. I've spent over a decade in the band and orchestra business, working retail, manufacturing, sales and marketing, and one of the things that I saw repeated over and over was how often parents and new students were being taken advantage of by overpriced rentals and misinformation. Well, I'm going to share with you what you will actually end up paying over the course of a rental and why owning with Overture is not only a less expensive option, but a more flexible one as well. So you're at a music store or a rental night, and you're going to ask, how much is it to rent an instrument? Seems like a pretty straightforward question with a straightforward answer, right? Well, it's actually a lot more complicated than it seems. First off, is it a month-to-month -month rental? Is it a lease? Is it a rent-to-own contract? Is there a down payment? These are all factors in what it costs to rent versus owning. The music store or rental rep will of course say you should definitely rent, exclaiming you don't want to get stuck with an instrument you don't need. Wait a minute, hold up. Did the rep just basically say your new student is probably going to quit? That's a terrible way to start out in music and really shouldn't be someone's first thought when starting out. That aside, the next thing they will say is that it's cheaper to rent. First off, this is simply not true. And second, they really just would rather you get on a monthly payment plan. So let's break this down a little bit so we can understand what the true costs of renting really are. The average rental price of your standard beginner instruments are about $40 to $50 a month on a standard rental contract, which usually has a rent-to-own option. So $40 a month for 12 months, you're going to pay $480 in your first year. That's a lot to pay out, especially when you can own an instrument through the Overture program for about three to $400. In addition to that, you're probably going to rent for over one year. So the payments can and will start adding up. At this point, they will start to talk about the rent to own program. Sounds like a good idea, right? Put your monthly payment towards ownership. Well, this is actually just where they end up getting you to sign a three year contract to rent at $40 a month for the next three years. That works out to $1,440, way more than you should ever pay for a good beginner instrument. So, so far, the costs of renting are $40 a month, $480 a year, $1,440 over three years if you wanna do a rent to own contract. So you might ask, how much is it to buy one? This is where it gets pretty complicated. At this point, they will show you the cost to own one of their beginner instruments and you see, they're going to show you a full retail price of one of their instruments, which comes out to about $1,500, or as it happens, about the cost of their three-year contract, making it, of course, look like no matter what you do, it's going to cost the same amount. The thing is, that's the full retail price, and it's a price that they have set up with the help of the manufacturers to drive rentals. They do this by creating map pricing, which is a minimum advertised price meaning you can't find any of these instruments listed for less than what they say. And in addition to that, many of the beginner instrument manufacturers have made it against policy to list their instruments for sale anywhere except at a rental dealer, making it very hard for you to do price comparisons. This gives them full control over how to handle pricing, and the truth is they're overinflating those prices to make their rentals look like the best option, and then sell you on a three-year rent-to-own contract. Seems a little coincidental, but hey, they've been doing it that way for years. By the way, that instrument that you now own after three years, it's a beginner instrument that a three-year student probably has outgrown as a player anyway. That's right, if you rent to own, you end up owning a three-year-old instrument that you don't really need. Well, with Overture, we provide you with the opportunity of music through affordability and accessibility. You buy the instrument at OvertureFirst.com, typically between three to $400, and then, Oh wait, then you're done. So rather than renting for $40 a month, $480 a year, for three years, totaling $1,440, you can own a great high quality beginner instrument for three to $400 and then you're done. Just check out some of our testimonials about the quality of the instrument we provide. So what about the flexibility I talked about earlier? As a bonus with Overture, you get our buyback guarantee. What's a buyback guarantee? That's our guarantee to you that if you don't want the instrument in the first 12 months, we buy it back for 70% of your purchase price through the first four months, 
or 50% of your purchase price for up to a year. Since most rentals have a three-month non-refundable down payment, in almost any scenario, it's less expensive to go with Overture than it is to rent. And for purchasing through Overture, you also get access to our members area located on our website, OvertureFirst.com. It's filled with how-to videos, maintenance guides, exclusive beginner basic lessons like putting together the instrument or forming an amateur, and many others. So now that you know the true costs of renting, choose Overture First at OvertureFirst.com and feel free to check out our other tutorials on the instrument rental industry. I hope this tutorial helped make your decision a lot easier and we wish you the best in your new musical journey. Thank you.